G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and the Cook and welcome back to our channel. The Hook and the Cook started as a TV program and we filmed 13 episodes for the major networks. It aired in Australia, New Zealand and the US. We've taken the 13 episodes and divided them into four equal parts for your enjoyment. Sit back now and enjoy beach fishing, Fraser Island. We've had a great morning exploring the coast and fishing by the wreck of the Mahina. But now it's time to cook up some lunch. Smoked tailor fillets with Asian greens. Here's my beautiful tailor that I caught the other night. It is an oily fish, so a great way to cook oily fish is to smoke it. Now what I've done here, I've got some tops of the lemongrass that normally gets chucked away. I've got some bay leaves, I've got some cumin seeds in here, and I've also got some coriander seeds. I turn on the heat to low and start drying out the ingredients. Then I square off the tailor fillets and lightly score the skin. This helps it not to curl up when the heat hits it and allows us to get more flavour into the flesh. So I've got some soy sauce, a very light soy sauce. It's not too strong. Just going to pop that in there. Not too much either, just a little bit. Still want to taste the uh, beautiful tailor flesh. I place each of the fillets onto a square piece of foil and throw on some chilli, finely sliced garlic, some lemongrass, red onions, some garlic chives, and also a tiny bit of fish sauce. Now that's gonna go into the pan. Now it's difficult to give you a cooking time on this because it all depends on the thickness of fish. You shouldn't overcook it this way. It's a really gentle way of cooking. I think it'll probably take around about seven minutes to cook, but it could take 10. Next thing I'm gonna do now is throw some foil over the top just to trap that smoke in. So that'll permeate the fish. It's a great healthy way to cook. After around seven minutes, I check the tailor fillets to see how they're going. I'm excited about this just quietly. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Just give it a little bit of a test with the knife. Just cooked all the way through, fantastic. Okay, so that's cooked. Next thing I need to do is turn that off completely. This is important has to be quite safe. We can't be pouring hot oil on top to, of a naked flame, otherwise we'll have fire. And that's the last thing we need on Fraser Island. <laughs> All right, now then. So I've got some sesame seed oil here going straight into the pan. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil in there as well, just so I can heat this up a little bit hotter than you would do if you just had sesame seed oil. Otherwise it tends to burn quite quickly, so a touch of olive oil. Turn up the heat to full, as we need the sesame oil to be as hot as possible. When poured over the fish, the oil will crisp up the skin and further cook the herbs and vegetables. Now, as soon as we start to see a little bit of blue smoke coming off this pan, we know that she's ready to pour over. Now, you've got to be very, very careful when you do this. First thing we need to do is turn the heat off completely, so there's no heat anywhere. Okay, then we need to pour it over our skin. This one. Now that's looking absolutely wonderful. What that does is just crisp the skin up. As you can see. Next thing we need to do is our Asian greens. I've got some bok choy and some choy sam. Got a little bit of sesame seed oil still in the pan. Now I've chopped them up, washed them off, and we're gonna be throwing these straight in there. And I've got a big beetle in here at the moment. That's what happens when you're cooking outside. I'll just get rid of that fella. I add bok choy and choy some to the pan. It only needs 30 seconds, so be careful not to overcook it or it'll become soggy. I then add some fish sauce and a touch of soy sauce for a little bit of saltiness. For acidity and crunch, I also add a handful of red onion to the pan. So I saw all the ingredients through a couple of times and now we're ready to plate up. of oil. Now that's a nice piece of tailor. To accompany our tailor fillets, I also prepare another wonderful little dish, Fraser Island Pippies on spaghetti. To find out how we caught the pippies and made this dish, go to thehookandthecook.com and click on the videos tab. This will take you through to our YouTube channel, which is filled with fishing and cooking tips plus lots of extra content. Righto mate. What's for lunch? Come on. Nothing beats freshly caught and cooked seafood. 
To be honest, I'm in heaven right now and loving every part of Fraser Island. I can't believe the week is already up. We have done a lot, but there is so much more we could do. This place has everything you could want from a holiday. I think it's time we start planning our next trip. These are going to take around about... Hold on a minute, let me have a look. How come I get this job? How come he always gives me these type of jobs? Come on, I'm relaxing now. <laughs> Wipers! We're cooking our um, beautiful whatever it is. What am I doing? You got to do this, son. No, no, bloody nothing. It's absolutely terrible out here at the moment. Freeze me tits off and not catching a thing. <laughs> no, nothing, mate. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed beach fishing Fraser Island. Now tune in next week for another fantastic clip on The Hook and the Cook and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we'll see you guys every week here at The Hook and the Cook. Cheers.